Welcome to this video on grouping. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. Have you ever tried to do an analysis with data that's less than perfect? What if we have both the postal abbreviation FL and the full state name Florida, but we want our analysis to consider them as the same thing? Or we may not care about the smallest office supply subcategories individually. Grouping lets us create a new field based on a combination of members. Let's say our data contains both FL and Florida. We know these are the same thing, so we want to combine the records into a group. It's as easy as control clicking on the headers and in the tooltip, clicking the paperclip icon. The automatic name is a concatenation, but we can right click and edit the alias to just say Florida. Or we can group those smaller office supplies, but this time from the data window. We'll right click on the field we want to group within, subcategory, and click Create Group. Now we can choose the members we want to group envelopes, fasteners, labels, paper, and supplies. We'll click Group. We can rename this Small Office Supplies. If we notice we left out a member, we can select it and add it to the group using this dropdown. There's even a powerful Find option to help us search fields with lots of values. Once we click OK, the new field shows up in the data window with the paperclip icon and the word Group tacked onto the end and this field is ready to use. If we ever realize we need to modify the group, we can right-click on that grouped field and select Edit Group. This brings us back to the editing dialog. If we right-click on the pill here on the Rows shelf, we see the option Include Other. This is also available in the original dialog box. Selecting this creates a group of any non-grouped members. This can help emphasize our original group, but I'll undo that. Once we have a grouped version of a field, we can use it instead of the original. Note that we still have the original field unchanged. The grouped one is in addition. For example, let's say we want our small items version of subcategory to appear in the hierarchy. It's as simple as dragging that field into the hierarchy list, and if desired, dragging out the original. The grouping will now stay with us as we drill through the hierarchy. What if we don't want to actually combine values into a new mark? We just want to call them out somehow. We can create a visual group. This is done by selecting the marks themselves instead of the headers and clicking the paperclip icon. This can be handy in views like scatter plots. Here, the marks that are selected are grouped and assigned a color, with everything else becoming other. If the marks we've selected span several dimensions, we can group by all or a particular dimension, say, ship mode. Here we've grouped all the other marks in the view that share those values for ship mode. If we don't want that grouping across dimensions and we just want the marks we selected, we simply choose All Dimensions. Thank you for watching this video on grouping in Tableau. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau Desktop.